Hey guys, so for those who don't know it, Burn is a pretty popular JavaScript runtime that's known for its speed. It's faster than pretty much all other runtimes out there, so things like installing dependencies, running scripts, or serving APIs are crazy fast. To achieve these god level speeds, they implement all their APIs from scratch using Zig, which is a low-level programming language like C or C++. So it's easier, well not easier, it's possible to control low-level stuff like memory allocation to make the code run faster. Now because they do this, a lot of Node APIs are still missing, so it's not a one-to-one -one mapping of Node.js features. This means that you can't really deploy your burn applications to production yet. Things can break pretty easily. It's also important to note that BAN 1.0 will be released on September 7th, so in about two weeks as of making this video. This version is going to be production ready. I don't really know what that means, but it's safe to assume that all important web and node APIs will be finally implemented. There's still a bunch of unchecked items on their roadmap that still need implementing. But skimming through it, the Node.js compatibility section is almost done. A lot of web APIs are also implemented. One thing that's also keeping some people from going all in on band is that it looks like there's only a single guy working on the whole thing. And there's too much risk depending on Jared only. I'm not really worried about that personally, but just for some consolation, Bad is actually a funded company with six full-time employees. While we wait for the official release, let's explore the ways we can deploy burn apps for now. The current best choice for this is using a Docker container that sets up burn and its dependencies and starts up your app. Burn has a Docker image that runs in CI environments, so we can use it. For those unfamiliar with deploying apps with Docker, like myself, you need a Docker file that will have a bunch of commands for installing and setting up dependencies. This file will then be used by a hosting platform of choice to set up the exact environment as described in that file. While looking into this, I saw that fly.io, which is a hosting platform, has a handy CLI for generating Docker files for various environments, including BAN. So you can install it and then run it via BAN X Docker file. So this will generate the file for us. Let's take a quick peek of the file. So you can see that we don't need to change much. We can customize the version of BAN we want to install and the start command at the bottom. The rest is up to you on where you want to deploy the app. Platforms like Fly.io, DigitalOcean, and Heroku support Docker files out of the box, so check them out. This is an official setup process, so we don't have direct docs from Ban on how to properly do this. Hopefully, this will all be revealed on September 7th. To speculate a little bit, I expect to have a built-in command to deploy Ban apps, something like what Dino Deploy does. It's entirely possible that Oven, Ban's parent company may have an offering where they may host Ban apps at a price. Or Ban may become so popular that all hosting platforms can start offering Ban right and support next to Node.js and other options. One can only hope. Yeah, so um, I'm pretty bullish on Ban and I'm excited on their direction in the coming weeks. I'll keep tabs and check back if they come up with uh, more interesting stuff. Thanks for watching and have a great week.